been waylaid by enemies and must defend yourself. Hail, and well met. Traveler. <laughs> well, that's the nicest thing anyone has called me in weeks. We should kill that one last, Senjak. Such good manners. No, no, there's no reason for this to turn violent. Hand over your belongings and you may yet live. You should listen to Senjak, friend. Perhaps you've noticed our associates who are even now aiming their arrows at your hearts. Raise a hand against us and they'll cut you down. Now then, empty your pockets in. What's going on back there? This... this is impossible. Saint Jack, Dorothea, I swore I would crush the life out of you someday. Today is that day. Dorn, you should be dead or rotting in a Luskin prison. How did you find us? I'm happy to see you, Dorn. Leaving you behind to take the blame was all Simeon's idea. He's the one you want, not us. Just following orders is a coward's excuse, Dorothea. And I haven't forgotten what you said when I refused your advances. What advances? She would never consort with a half-orc, especially when she has me. You haven't changed, Dorn. You're as stupid as you're ugly. Tell him, Dorothea. Senjak was the first to agree with Simeon. He always hated you. But you know I didn't feel the same way. Dorothea, what are you saying? Rush them! You are both mewling cowards, turning on each other as easily as you turned on me. Half your men are already dead. You'll join them soon. It didn't have to be this way. We've beaten you before, Dorn. We'll do it again. Attack! So I kicked him in the head till he was dead! <laughs> uh huh? So I kicked him in the head! Stand ready. I will show you just East flaming! You handle yourself well enough. My name is Dorn Ilkhan, and I was settling an old score. I've been hunting those two for almost a year. That's two down, and two to go. My powers are none of your concern, unless you are looking for a strong arm. Wait, are you? I've heard of you. Problems. Traveling with you might help my vendetta, and my powers would certainly help you. My former companions betrayed me and left me to rot in a muscle prison. I've spent the last year tracking them down after Senjak and Borotino. There are two left. Very wise. We shall cut a bloody swath across the Sword Coast. Regarding my mission, I have a lead on one of my former companions, the necromancer, Krill. She was seen east of the Nashkel mines, but I know nothing more specific. I found a woman who knew where I could find Krill, but she did not respond well to my interrogation. Taris, as she is called, is somewhere in Nashkel. She was searching for her husband or something like that. I do not commit such trivialities to memory. Oh, you haven't seen the man about him. 
this tall and oh, this wide, have you? That lout. I, I don't know very much about this area. I am looking for my husband, you see. He left me a week ago and, oh, the danger on the road and then that awful woman. I've been trying to find him ever since. Well, I don't really know. My husband has vanished. He was seen heading east in the company of some woman. I followed them for a while, but the wilderness became too dangerous. When I asked some of the other people here in town, they said that the woman had lured several men away, not just my husband. I don't know what kind of game she thinks she's playing, but it isn't natural. Hmm. When I asked this woman about Krill, the description I gave matched the mystery woman who took away her husband. When I demanded more information, she fled. Typical. That's really all I know. Somewhere to the east, perhaps past the mines. Oh, I miss Hager so much, but I don't know if I could ever forgive him. Oh no! It's far too dangerous. I really don't know what to do. I have little money, and my husband is off with that wench. That horrible woman has stolen my Hager. Thank you. Thank you so much. I shall remain here while you search for Hager. Not a problem. I will show you justice! You've attacked? You rang? of each and every betrayer has driven me forward. I made a deal and agreed to certain conditions. I will speak no more on this matter. I am half useful gadgets I have. Yes, I do.
I thought you alone saw past my half-orc blood, Krill. Now I see you are just like the others. Perhaps Senjak was too handsome for you to ignore, but I've taken care of that. Someone had to take a fall to divert suspicion from the rest of us, and Simeon chose you. Besides, you obviously escaped. There's no need for revenge. It's beneath you, Dorn. Don't be so petty. Petty? You left me to die in Luskin. There will be no forgiveness. Stand and die, Krill. Once again, you fail to realize what's happening around you, Dorn. Rise up, my children. Rise up and feast upon the living! Yes? I am prepared. Be direct. Uh-huh. You've attacked. Uh, can I help you? Vita! You've attacked? Uh-huh. I'll do it! I stand with ease. I can see you suffer, Krill. I can see your soul writhe in the abyss. Of all my betrayers, you are the one whose pain pleases me most. Perhaps not literally, not with my eyes, but I do have channels of communication. Enough of this. Let us search the body. Your wish? I understand. You've a task as you direct. That note, let me read it. At last, Simeon the King bastard himself. Quickly, let us make haste. It matters not. I will escape any trap they lay for me. I will overcome any obstacle they place in my path. I know better than to trust the word of those I have slain already. I sense it is true that he gave the order. Simeon must die. Mm. Have you lost your taste for revenge? I would not have expected you to turn down a challenge. Until now, you have proven to be a capable leader. Yes, not a problem. <laughs> 